Welcome to Raw Online. So today we are going to see a very important topic, the CRASH 2 trial. Okay. So as being an emergency physician, definitely you are going to encounter a lot of trauma patients, right? So whether to give traffic, the tranexamic acid or not, is going to be a big question. So from now onwards, whatever treatment you give to a patient, you should be having a background evidence. And even if you have an evidence, you need to know what are the plus and minus of that particular evidence, whether you can follow that in your real time practice or not, right? So here we have the CRASH-2 trial, we'll go through that. It's basically the effect of tranexamic acid on death, the mortality, and the vascular occlusive events, and the blood transfusion in trauma patients with significant hemorrhage. This is a randomized placebo controlled trial. The simple question is, can I give traffic or not? Can I give tranexamic acid or not, right? So this is being, uh, was published in Lancet in 2010. The question being, in trauma patients with or at risk of uh, significant hemorrhage, does the early administration of short course of traffic or the tranexamic acid affect the mortality, the incident of vasoacclusive events and the amount of blood transfused, okay. The design is it's a randomized control study where it's using a 24-hour free call service balanced center and uh, with a block size of 8. What is this block size of 8? Whatever hospitals is being enrolled, they will make sure at the end of 8 participants, the participants are being equally triaged two different groups. That is one receiving the traffic and one receiving only placebo. So at the end of 8 patients, if you see multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, at the end of multiples of 8, you will be able to see they are equally distributed. This is called as a block size of 8 basically. And this is a multi-centered trial. So the single center bias cannot be there. So multi-centered trial, double-blinded trial, neither the patient nor the treating physician knows about what exactly is giving. So the bias is going to be less. So double-blinded, placebo controlled with identical treatment packs. Okay. So it is one statistician who blinds everything, who just gives you a pack. We really don't know what drug is inside. It's going to be a traffic or it's going to be a placebo. We really don't know. Fine. So it was done in 274 hospitals in 40 countries. It started in 2005. Okay. And completed and the journal came out in 2010. Inclusion, adults more than 18 years of age with trauma and they present within 8 hours of the instance. Very, very important. Okay. We are dealing with the CRASH-2 trial. So this is present within 8 hours of incident. Okay. Put a big 8. You need to know this in exam. They are going to ask you about this hours. So they are presenting within 8 hours of incident. Okay. Either significant hemorrhage or who are considered to be at risk of significant hemorrhage. Like Clinically itself, you know the, the patient is bleeding or on presentation, the patient's blood pressure is less than 90, systemic BP is less than 90 and heart rate is more than 110. So, you know that there could be a chance of significant hemorrhage, right? So, either the patient is having a hemorrhage or who is considered to be at the risk of significant hemorrhage. So, these are the inclusion. Exclusion, if there is clear contraindication for tranexamic acid like allergic reactions previously, then they are excluded. So, we have a very good inclusion criteria itself. Let's see.